I'm here to audition for Happy Days, The Next Generation. Right over there. Yes, I learned a long time ago that a casting director only has so much time to make a choice. The thinking actor must use every edge to make that choice a foregone conclusion. Well, I, I guess I blew it, huh? Perhaps, but you never fail when you learn from your mistakes. You know, I recognize you. Aren't you Ty Lookwell? Yes. But until this audition's over, I prefer to be addressed as Buzz McCool. Well, it's nice to meet you. You know, I remember Banachek. That was a great show. No, I wasn't Banachek. That was George Papard. I was Bannigan. Brannigan? No, that was Hugh O'Brien. I was Bannigan. Oh, right, right. You had the black secretary. No, that was Bannix. I had a sheepdog. Right. right. Sorry, people. It looks like we have everyone we need. But thanks for coming down. We appreciate it. That's just great. <laughs> They're lost, my friend. Of course we could have gone a fourth season. But I felt that my character had said everything it had to say. How did the network feel? Similar. Well, best of luck to both of you. Beautiful car, Mr. Lookwell. Remember, the thinking actor. All right, sir, that's two hours, so that comes to $50 plus tax. Hmm. By my watch, I was only out for an hour and 45. Well, we round off to the closest hour, sir. It's in your agreement. Look, I didn't want to bring this up, but that blinker makes a click-click sound. It's supposed to, sir. All right, here's the 20. Let's agree to disagree. What's that all about? We had a stolen car last night, sir. Sounds like trouble. Better take a look. What was the license number, Mr. Alberti? I don't have it. It's only written on the keychain. What well, seems to be the problem, officers? We're handling it, sir. Could you please step back? I don't think you understand. I used to play a detective. Oh, yeah. He was Bennigan. No, that was George Kennedy. I was Bannigan. Could we get back to this, please? We'll do what we can, sir, but this is the fifth lot to have a classic car stolen this week. Sounds to me like a string of classic car thefts. You boys better check it out. As Shakespeare reminds us how oft the sight of means to do ill deeds makes ill deeds done. Would you get lost? Very well. I'll leave it to you, gentlemen, for now. And as for you, sir, it wouldn't hurt to be more careful about the kind of scum you rent your cars out to. How did that audition go? Quite well. But these things take time. Did you do that shopping I asked you to do? I tried, but the store said they don't make that hairspray anymore. Those fools. Oh, I washed your nephew's clothes. He said he might want to stay on a few extra days. Mm -hmm. Matt must be enjoying himself. Yes. Ah, youth. Hello. If you'd like to leave a message for Ty Lookwell or for the Ty Lookwell Actors Workshop or for my nephew Matt Conway, do so at the beep. This is for Matt Conway. Matt, this is Carol at Francis Coppola's office. We loved your audition. Please give us a call. Hey, Matt, it's Rick. I got you a meeting with Kevin Costner at 3 o'clock. Let me know if you can make it. I'm looking for Matt. This is Francis Coppola. I'll try again later. Matt, it's Rick again. Look, the Spielberg thing has to be tomorrow, so I'm going to cancel that Happy Days audition. I know. You're crushed. Good. No calls to make. I'll just kick back and enjoy some television. Officer, you ain't got nothing on me, Bannigan. I'm with my lawyer. 
Get me my lawyer! You can call the Supreme Court for all I care. You're gonna do time, Leroy. Hard time. Get him out of my sight. You're gonna do time, Liran. Hard time. In those lines, I had to convey both anger and triumph. A sense of disgust with Liran and all he represented, as well as reaffirmation that the balance of nature would be restored. I served, if you will, as both magistrate and messenger. So the pimp was actually funneling money through the disco? Yes, that's right. But allow me to get back to my point. Acting is resolving conflict. Now, using what we've just learned, let's try that resolution scene from King Lear again. Alex, Suzanne. <clears throat> oh, my good master. Pretty away. Tis noble Kent. All right, stop right there. Which one of these two actors was conveying the dichotomy we saw in my Bannigan episode? I thought Alex had a good sense of his who. Or the observation, Ben. Well, sir, I was attempting to summon my life experience and transport it to the Earl of Kent situation. Wait a minute. What did you say? I was just talking, sir, about my technique. No, no. Transport. Those stolen cars are being transported to another country. Mr. Lookwell? Sorry. Used to play detective. Mind can't help but make deductions. Class, I'm going to have to step away for a bit. Uh, ben, will you take over the group while I'm gone? Want me to put them through the emotional tag exercise? Whatever you like. Right now, I'm going to pay a little visit to my friends at the police station. Your name is what? Lookwell. Ty Lookwell. And you're a what? I'm an honorary member of the force. This was given to me in 1972. Presented to Ty Lookwell, TV's Brannigan. Bannigan. Hugh O'Brien was Brannigan. Who's Hugh O'Brien? Exactly. Honorary Crime Stopper, 1972. I don't know, Mr. Lookwell. That was presented to me at a formal ceremony in Television City. Sergeant, when I post the watch schedule, I want Detective Kennery. Oh, hi, Lookwell. Don't worry, Detective. I was just getting rid of this guy. No. No, oh, Sergeant. He's with me. Detective Kennery was the technical advisor on my show. Perhaps if you watched a little more television, you'd be better at your job. I think I've got a break of those classic car robberies. Well, that's great, Ty. And we appreciate your enthusiasm. I thought we had a talk about how you weren't really needed around here. Detective, with all due respect, I did three episodes on this kind of thing. Now, consider this. What we're dealing with are cars which are stolen, or as we say in the force, hot. So hot, in fact, that they'd have to be transported out of the country. Look, Will, those cars are imports. They'd fetch a higher price here than anywhere else. Now, we're fairly certain. These thieves are altering these cars quickly and then storing them somewhere to be resold later. Imported cars? Well, perhaps if the police were to share these nuggets of information with their honorary crime stoppers, we could work together more efficiently. The commissioner wants to see you. Tell him I'll be right there. He knows who you're with, and he says he'd like you to join him in reality. We'll talk later, Ty. All right? Very well, then. I'll be out of your way. But remember this, gentlemen. I have a lot of free time. And yet they're still at large. Police are obviously baffled, but they're too proud to ask for my help. Well, well, did they tell you anything? They say the cars are being altered. You mean like painting them? Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if those cars are being painted in an auto-painting shop. Wow. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you, Alex. Now, I'm going to pay a visit to a certain auto painting shop, one that's close to the crimes, and yet large enough to tuck away a stolen car or two without anyone noticing. What are you going to do there? Let's just say a little acting. A little undercover acting. Okay, we're going to start you off on this Plymouth over here. So you painted you the body frame before, right? Ah, uh, yes, the unibody. A lighter weight alternative frame introduced by Detroit in the huh? mid-70s. Huh? Well, you seem to know your stuff. Why, of course. My father was a car painter, as was his father and his father before him. All right, this here's Manny. He'll stand the cars before you paint them. Nice to meet you, Manny. Hey, don't break the bumper, man. Huh. All right. It's all the rage in Minnesota. Look, we got to get going there, fellas. We only charge 60 bucks to paint these things, so we like to move them in and out pretty quick. <laughs> I'll bet you do. Okay, guys, get to it. Oh, Phil, if there's anything else you'd care for me to do, just let me know. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, you know, any special jobs that need extra attention? Is he gay? Hey, it don't matter as long as he does a good job. Just give me the signal. I'll deliver. Look, man, we're not into that stuff. That's not what I heard. How'd you get beat up, Mr. Lookwell? I'm not exactly sure, Suzanne. The working class mind is strange and unpredictable. So you didn't find out anything? On the contrary. While they thought I was unconscious, I rummaged through their office files. I found no evidence of any wrongdoing. So the shop's not involved with the ring of thefts? Glad to see you catch up with the rest of us, Jason. Now let's resume those soliloquies. Miss Reister? I won't answer that question for you. All I know is that Ellert Loveborg had the courage to live by his principles. And now he's done something big, something beautiful. Your head of gobbler is quite powerful, Miss Royster. And may I add, most enchanting. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Lookwell? Yes, Ben? Don't you think it would be faster if I demonstrated the transformation technique for the class? Wait a minute. Faster. Sir? Fast. Race. There's an auto race in town, isn't there? That's right, sir. The L.A. Grand Prix is here Sunday. Car thieves. Outrunning the police. High speeds. Expert drivers attracted to Grand Prix. Mr. Lookwell, are you all right? Jason, how do you feel about portraying a pit crew mechanic? What do you mean, Mr. Lookwell? Let's just say that you and I are going to do a little Grand Prix auto racing. No, you can't come in. You are not in the race. Tell him I'm Dash Carlisle, world-renowned auto racer. He's Dash Carlisle. He's... No, you're not. You're not on the list and there is no such person. Now, I am tired of talking to you. Get out of here. It was a good effort, Jason. You just need a little work on your physicalization. Well, what do we do now, Mr. Laquan? Not to worry. Every good undercover man has a plan B. Hey, buddy, what? Are you... Hey, security! Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Get up. All right, relax, Jason. Stay loose. It's going well. Okay, that's enough. You see how it works? The person in the middle puts his complete trust in his fellow actors. Now, let's uh, try it with Cam in the middle. Okay, look well. You made bail. You and your friend are free to go. Work on those exercises. You've got a Forrest Tucker quality. Me? Both of you. Ty, I've talked to the track officials. They've agreed not to press charges if you promise not to bother them again. Sorry, Detective. I was merely about to capture our elusive car thief in his guise as the Grand Prix competitor. Oh, well, actually, during the race, two more cars were stolen. So we were just wasting our time? You never waste time, Jason. Time wastes you. Anyway, I hope you realize now that this kind of thing, it just isn't worth your trouble. Detective, maybe Bob Conrad didn't take his honorary badge seriously, but I do.
wonderful day, isn't it? Or as you would put it, how oft the sight of memes to do ill deeds makes ill deeds done. If only the rest of us had your insight. Still, when all is lost, it's comforting to know that I can come to this place, think of your words, and sort out the puzzle. That is why we know the cars aren't leaving the country, yet none have been spotted on the road. Of course, Detective Kennery says the cars are being hidden, but how do you hide such unusual cars without attracting attention? Unless... Of course, the cars aren't being stolen at all. Owners? Stealing own cars? Collecting insurance? Alberti's car rental. He didn't even know his license number. Follow Alberti. Prove his guilt. Expose the whole conspiracy. Oh, it's all so perfect. Thank you, William. As always, you've shown me the way. Now, if you'll excuse me. As always, Mr. Alberti, your generosity is most appreciated. I'm just happy to be a part of it. Good evening, Miss... Vanderhaven. Eloise P. Vanderhaven. Perhaps you've heard of my father, Thaddeus Vanderhaven, who built a vast fortune out of nothing. <laughs> I see. And this is Willie, the homeless person whom I am sponsoring. Good evening. I live in the streets. Nice work. I knew you were right for this. Now. I want you to mix and mingle. Get a feel for the room. I've got a rat to catch. A rat named Alberti. Alberti the rat. Good evening. I have a home. Hello, nice to be indoors. Hi there. The sidewalk is my pillow. I just feel we have to remember. These are real people with real lives. Good evening. Quite a little fundraiser, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Well, Mr. Alberti, pity about your stolen car. Yes? I don't suppose you'll ever see it again, or will you? What are you talking about? Pay no attention. I'm just a crazy old vagabond. Now, if you'll excuse me. Who is that? Too well, I'm afraid. Alberti tried to play dumb, but he's no actor. Oh, wow. Jason's waiting outside. We've got no time to lose. Excuse me, homeless coming through. Pardon me, eat out of the trash can. Jason. Yes? Don't be alarmed. It's me, Tyler Quell. I know. Do you remember which car Alberti came in? Yeah, a black Jaguar. Get the keys, let's go. Look, are you really sure this guy's guilty? As guilty as Miss Royster is beguiling. Be careful, Mr. Lequell. Don't worry. I'm just going to hide in the back seat. And within a few hours, Alberti will lead me right to where the stolen car is hidden. Hey! What the hell's going on down there? Get in. What? Change of plans. Get in the car, both of you. Get in my car! Start the car chase. Mr. Look well. I know what I'm doing, not crying. Why do I have to be in the car? Stay calm, Miss Reister. I think some cars are chasing us. Perfect. Alberti's band of thugs will lead him right to police headquarters. It's the police! Speed up. What? Trust me, I've got another idea. I'm not a car thief! I'm an actor! Follow me! Turn here.
I'll accept your apologies for arresting me in advance, gentlemen. Inspect the premises, detective. You'll find that Alberti's your man. Ah, please. You're going to do time, Alberti. Hard time. Ty, he was helping us. His car was part of a sting operation tonight. Of course, that's all ruined now. Sting operation? The museum lot was targeted as a prime strike zone, and his car was bait. Prime strike zone? Oh, look, we don't have time to go into this. Hey, you! This guy just crashed through my gate. How come the alarm didn't go off? Oh, it must be a malfunction, sir. I'll check on it in the morning. It's a brand new system. What are you doing here after hours? Alarm system? Well, well I was just... Uh, me? Yeah. I was just, just doing uh, inventory. Well, wait a minute. Did he know we were staking out the museum tonight? Sure. I told him. There's your man. Take him in. I bet these were all inside jobs. That's good work. Well, detective, I guess our little ride let you right to the criminal himself. I'm just glad my unique blend of talents could play a role. Detective, he was accusing the owner. Of... Please, just let it go. It's not worth it. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure working with you. If you need me again, here's my headshot.